we have had a cold front come through, but when it comes to our temperatures, uh, we're not really feeling it all that much as we are still sitting in the upper 80s here in Rockford. 88 degrees our current temperature, 84 up in Janesville. The one place we could absolutely feel it, our dew points, as they are now sitting in the lower 60s and even some mid 50s. So at least, yes, it's hot, but it's not the air that you can wear. And again, big part of that has to do with that cold front, changing our winds to be out of the north uh, right around five miles per hour here currently. Our Rock River Kia Max Storm Tracker, it has been clear as can be. Our um, severe thunderstorm watch for both DeKalb as well as Lee County has been canceled about an hour or so ago as our environment for our atmosphere has really started to stabilize. But there's still with the sun, sun, the sunshine we're getting right now and those warmer temperatures still a slight chance for a few showers and storms later on as there is some development off in northern part of Iowa making its way towards us. But its trajectory I think will stay mostly towards the southwest. And with that I can't rule out maybe a stray shower, maybe a rumble or two of thunder here uh, later on this evening. But overall I think we should stay mainly dry in any places that do see a shower or storm. I only really think high winds are our main threat as we could see some heavier downpours as there is a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. So some heavier rainfall and some localized flooding are both possibilities here later this evening. But again, mainly towards our south here and really going to be hit or miss here. But temperature wise, as we hit overnight, we're going to actually start to clear out seeing a low of 61 degrees winds out of the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And we are going to remain clear here for tomorrow. So if you have any plans on going to Old Settlers Days, uh, really a bullseye of a forecast for us. At around 4 o'clock when gates open, 82 degrees, plenty of sunshine, looking at some gorgeous temperatures. Then 75 at 8 o'clock, and then 65 at 11 o'clock, looking at a very, very nice Friday forecast. As we head overnight into Saturday morning, a few clouds will start to join before becoming mostly cloudy as we get into the afternoon on Saturday. Timecast is suggesting a few showers earlier on. Not overly optimistic for our chances, but I think as we head overnight into Sunday into Sunday morning, that's when I think our chances for a few showers start to pick back up. But with those, eh, maybe a rumble or two, but not expecting much in the severe weather department. But that is not the case for Sunday or Monday as we are going to be hot as can be thanks to a large high pressure bubble that's going to park itself over the northeast and that is going to cause a strong southerly breeze to really influence our weather here as temperatures are going to be in the mid 90s with dew points potentially reaching that 70 or that 70 degree mark meaning our heat index values well those could easily reach triple digits especially on monday with highs easily reaching 96 degrees both Sunday and Monday are about three degrees away from record breaking, but it is going to be hot nonetheless. Do have those first alerts out there for pretty much every day next week, as we could see a scattered shower or thunderstorm. And with how hot and how much moisture is in our atmosphere, those could easily become strong to severe. But again, I think the heat more than anything is what we'll be watching out for next week. All right, good to know. All right, thank Thanks, you, DJ. DJ. Coming up after the break,